Hi, it's Daniel Burns uh, here with another painting for Schizophrenia Theater of the Mind. I'm going to start painting on that wall. I put a plastic drop cloth on the wall and use tacks to paint with, to put the canvas on. Uh, what I'm using for canvas is a sheet. I'll be uh, cutting that to three and a half feet by three and a half feet. And I'll be working on this painting, which is the blue room or Van Gogh's bedroom or bedroom in Arsays. Uh, I don't know. It goes by many different names. These are the mediums that I'll be using so far in color choices. This brown is going to be the light coat for the floor. The buff white is going to be for the bedding. The ultramarine blue is uh, going to be for the the bed itself for the comforter because I'm switching the colors. The room's going to be red and the comforter is going to be blue. The buff white is for the pillows. Burnt Sienna is for the highlights on the bed and the wicker chairs and the table. The Burnt Umber is for the floor. The red is going to be the red for the, wa the walls. I'm going to water it down considerably. The yellow is going to give the thick and pastu uh, feel on all of the um, brownish colors for the table, the bed, and the chairs. And uh, the heavy gloss is the, um, for the chairs, for the wicker, uh, to create, create more texture. It's going to shrink, so we have to keep that in mind. So there's the painting that I'm going to be painting. And the where, there's the wall that it's going to go on. Wish me luck. Thanks. Well, there's the canvas strung up. It's a big canvas. I was looking at it. I'm a little intimidated. But I think that's going to be at work itself all right. Uh, but I, I realized one of my chairs uh, matches a chair in the photo. Pretty close, not exactly. But uh, here we go. Now we start with the drawing. Well, there's the drawing. Uh, first step is painting the uh, walls red. So I'll take care of that. Then I'm going to do the uh, wood aspects in uh, yellow. Um, before I started drawing, I was thinking about this and how to incorporate more of myself into this painting. And what I decided was that I'm going to have a real door paint it red like the background and like the door on the right. And have the chair from my, uh, from my dining room table be the other aspect, the other half of the painting. So I'm really excited about that. I just... It, it's something that I wanted to incorporate myself into. And, you know, the reason for this painting is uh, the bed. Um, because when I was diagnosed with schizophrenia, I spent a lot of time in bed and still do spend a lot of time in bed. Um, so, yeah. Wish me luck. Here goes the red. Thanks. Bye. Well, the red's been applied. I think it looks good. Um, the red in the middle, the one with the four pictures, that's going to lighten up a little bit. But I like how uh, it's more of a staining technique for the walls. The uh, paint actually seeps into the canvas. And then for the door, it was more of a thicker uh, acrylic, a thick and a thin. It was the uh, the basics, so the walls were the basics watered down to a pretty pretty watery consistency, and then the medium red is for the door. So now it's uh, applying some yellow. I'll see you then. Bye. Well, there's the base coat of uh, the yellow. Um, I'm going to go over with uh, Burnt Sienna. It's going to be a little bit of a redder tone brown. And then uh, I'm going to be taking some photographs for uh, some of the pictures on the walls. And moving forward from there. So there's the chair that's going to be in it. little manipulation. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, good morning. The paint's been drying overnight now. 
Um, needed it to dry so I can put the second coat onto it. Been looking at the painting, thinking about different aspects of it. Uh, the paintings in the paintings are going to represent uh, things in my life. Um, things of that was happening at, during that period of time of the second phase of recovery and also today. Um, so going with that color scheme also. I uh, haven't decided if I'm going to take the red door and paint it black um, because, you know, I was not in the best of headspace at that period of time. Um, but representational of uh, what my thoughts and feelings were at the time. Right now I'm going to do the window in the back, the brown. I'm going to do that at darker brown, burnt umber. But when I get close, you can see on, you can really see the outline here and here. But then there's the thicker paint, the impasto on the bed. And that's to show more of the wood grain. I'm going to be doing some shadowing with the uh, non-watered down uh, burnt sienna. So I think it's coming along nicely. See you later. Well, there's the window so far. I think it looks pretty good. I'm deciding what colors to do the window panes themselves. I think I'm going to leave that to one of the last things to do to uh, see what will go best with the rest of the painting with the finish color on the brown. Now I'm going to work on the bed a little bit, do the pillows and the sheets. Thanks for listening. Hi. Well, does well. There's the bed so far. Blue comforter, white pillows, and then I'm gonna go in with buff white on the other areas for the sheets. Uh, so, take care. I was on a roll, so I uh, started working on the uh, the tabletop. Uh, the bleeding there is going to get covered up with a layer of acrylic, so not too concerned about that. I am going to have to manipulate a little bit of the line probably on uh, the bowl. Um, but yeah, everything's coming along pretty well. I'm really happy with it. Have a good day. Bye. Well, good morning. There's the blue shirts. Um, I wear a lot of blue. I'm colorblind. So, uh, blue just seems to go well. But, uh, yeah. That's how it fits into the rest of the picture. Big day today. I'm going to cover the yellow with the brown. So, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. See you later. Bye. Well, there's the brown. I'm a little shocked. I like it, but I don't use uh, brown very often. It's hard for me to see. So, uh, covering up that yellow that's very bright and very dominating in the picture plane uh, with a more muted color is uh, very interesting to the eye. I'm going to leave the coat rack uh, yellow and uh, color the cushion. Not sure what color now. The pillows are... A little bit of separating and sagging a little bit um, so I'm deciding if I want to put a second coat on there but uh, to isolate the different areas there's the bed the chair so far the table coat rack I really like how this frame turned out So yeah, so I'm going to keep on going. Uh, I'm going to do some highlighting with some uh, burnt sienna. And uh, then I'll have to do the floor with a, a brown ink, a very light color. And uh, go from there. Alright, thanks for listening. Bye. Well, the highlighting really makes the brown. I'm really happy with it at this point. Um... 
going to add some uh, texture to the left hand side to the bottle on the very left. I'm going to do a thick uh, clear coat to make it shiny and kind of weigh the balance of the painting a little bit better. And uh, then I still have to decide what color to put the cushion and uh, what pictures to put in the pictures. Yeah. So, and the floor. So, till then, bye. But we won't know what that's going to look like uh, for like a week till it dries. It dries clear, but it's going to shrink. So the other times I've used it, it shrank a lot. So I don't know how much it's going to shrink on that. But, uh, you know, it sticks out of the canvas pretty well. So do other parts of the painting. Get a little bit of a texture. I was encouraged getting close to paintings and looking at them, looking at the brush strokes and the different techniques. Makes the security guards nervous though. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye. Well there's the floor. I really like it. Brings out the colors in the room. So much more work to be done. There's the chair, minus the backing. So, signing off for now. Daniel Burns. Well, there it is. Two coats of brown on the floor. It's been a week. I had to go to work, so uh, couldn't do this type of work. I'm going to go in with some highlighting for the boards for the floor with a darker brown, same uh, type of brown, burnt umber, and same acrylic uh, ink. I watered it down for the, wa for the floor up to this point in time, treated it like watercolors. But I think everything's going good. I like how there's a smiley face in the uh, pillow now after it... Uh, separated so much loosely smiley face but I think it's coming along nicely still have to worry about the cushion for the chair I think it's gonna go blue and then uh, the matte medium is drying but it's taking a long time it's still sticking out a lot it's not nearly as thick as it was but it's going to go back I've also started entertaining the thought of putting an artificial light behind this window and not painting the, the cells the panes of glass and just having that light shine through there that's going to go to a mirror that's a self portrait that one I don't know it's a female in most of the pictures that I've seen since I guess uh, Van Gogh did six of these uh, paintings um, and then in the other pictures those two uh, blank spots are like just lines or something like that so I think I'm going to put my definition of success in a poem uh, by my favorite author uh, Charles Bukowski alright well thanks for taking the time it's coming along nicely I'll see you later Well, welcome back. There's the floor. Took about four coats to achieve the effects. I like how there's uh, the light reflecting off the floor. Um, the, all the major elements are done at this point in time. The minor elements, which are ultimately their own painting in their own right, are the blank rectangles in the, on the walls in the painting. Uh, the one on the far left is going to go a mirror um, because that's what it's like in the main, the main picture. This mirror minus the frame. But uh, I was reading up on the, the original uh, painting 
And I guess there was three of them, not six of them. Uh, at least this this next source uh, was uh, talking about wasn't talking about the miniatures that the other book was talking about. But there's the thick impostured paint. Um, I like how it ended up being a smiley face in the pillow. At least that's what I see. It's up to anybody's interpretation. But I outlined uh, like Van Gogh did in the original. Still deciding if I'm going to do that chair cushion a different color or not. Um, the table, I really like how it's very architectural compared to the bed, which is textural. And uh, I'm a little unimpressed on the, the matte medium again, um, but it's not drying clear. So I put some holes in it with a pin. We'll see if that's going to get uh, th that solved and we'll move forward from there. But the window is going to have a light in the background. I'm going to make a fluorescent light with a box around it so the, it just lights up from the uh, inside so I won't be painting that. In the original painting, this is a landscape, so I have a picture of a tree that I'm uh, going to uh, paint right directly onto the canvas. This first picture, these two pictures are pictures of people, male and female. They vary in, his, in the three pictures. Um, one's his, his self-portrait, which I'm going to do a self-portrait of mine. And then a female image that uh, I don't know uh, who I'll do at this time. And then for these two spots, I'm going to uh, take these smaller canvases and either paint them with landscapes or put on my favorite poem and uh, with uh, the definition of success is which was given to me many years ago by a co-worker of mine but you'll notice the ceiling the floor is kind of uh, an impression the ceiling is not existent that's very symbolic of uh, some schizophrenia, of having schizophrenia. You know, I can be walking down the street and I'll take a step and I won't even believe that the ground is there. And there's no ceiling to what can happen when your own thoughts and your own minds, mind and what you can create and what you can live by. I'm going to keep on working on this painting, the smaller aspects. So wish me luck. Thank you. Bye. Well, I woke up this morning, wanted the paint, so I grabbed a picture of myself and painted it. First time I painted myself in, ooh, 15 years or so. Except for being a stick figure. Um, and this whole painting in itself is a self-portrait. But it doesn't really look like me. But I think it's an interesting picture. I like how the eyes are kind of trippy. And the hair, little impasto. But yeah, that's going to be the painting that's going to. Oh, there's all the supplies. That's going to be the painting that's going to go into this spot on the larger painting so I think it's going well I put something up as a door it's a door that's covered in canvas but that's the effect that is going to be there's going to be a door there and then the chair and there I put the mirror up um, I was suggested just to leave the frame as is I like how the green contrasts the red wall so, but everything's coming along nice. I really, uh, I'm really enjoying this uh, process of creating this painting. I hope you're enjoying watching this. Have a good day. Bye. Well, there's the first look with some pictures on the walls. Um, I like how they're turning out. Uh, still have to do that one in the middle there. I believe that's going to be a tree, a landscape. Um, have the chair and the door. The door might have to have another light on top of it. Depends on the lighting in the place. Um, but I've added a 
these pictures here, the stick man, because I kind of identify with that. This is an older painting that uh, I just like how it's ripping apart the canvas and seeing what's underneath it. This is uh, the definition of success. And then, uh, you know, the whipping together of a self-portrait there. So landscape there. And then uh, one thing that I did add was a pill bottle to uh, the table. I'm thinking about putting another one there because most people with some sort of mental illness take more than uh, one pill. So uh, it's coming along great. I'm really excited about this piece. The frame's going to be a tough to make. Um, I'll get the door and paint the chair at that time. Um, so let's keep on trucking on. Thanks for hanging in there. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, there's the picture I've been working off of, uh, Van Gogh's Blue Room, which was actually violet in a letter that he said, uh, green, light green sheets and violet walls. Um, but he also manipulated colors, which is great. And so I interpreted it into this aspect here. There's a lot of things that are very self-portrait like and there is a self-portrait in there even though it doesn't look like me on the left hand side is going to be a door which I have to get uh, when I frame everything so the frame will be violet like the walls of the original room uh, the door on the left hand side will be red to match the door on the right hand side the chair seat will be covered with yellow spray paint to match the seat in the picture I'm really excited about this piece. I put a lot into it. It shows a lot about my personality and my life and you know, I really feel uh, good about this piece. So hopefully you do too. Um, can't wait to, for you to see the finished product um, with the light in the window in the back. Alright, great. Well, thanks. You have a good day. Bye.